A lot of people I speak to have struggled in trying to get Cubase to work with their MIDI controllers, and most people are just unaware of the fact that there is something called quick controls. If you come over to the left hand side where my cursor is, if you click on the quick control area, you have these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight slots. And these are basically linked in to a hardware controller that you have to predefine. I'll click on here so you can see the options. For example, I've got the Hattie on one loaded it on here, and this is providing some wood blocks. I could choose any of these controls here to actually assign to one of the controllers. For example, the Hall Reverb Mix, if I double click on this, you can see where it's currently set at the moment. Now, the whole idea here is, is that we have the MIDI controls set up with the keyboard that we're using. Now, to do this, you've got to go out to Devices, come down to Device Setup, and then click over here under Remote Devices, we have the Quick Control section. This is how it works. You basically rotate the controller you want to assign. So I'm going to pick of my keyboard. I've got eight that I can use for this. So I'm going to click on quick control one, rotate my controller, then click learn. You can see the number is updated here. Let's go to quick control two. I'm going to rotate. Now click on learn. Let's work through the list. Each time rotating, then clicking on learn. So I'm rotating the controls on my hardware keyboard controller. So they're all being assigned now. And then you just click OK. So have a look. The reverb send over here. I can rotate my controller. So you can see that I'm not using the mouse to do this. So let me just play that section there. I have it how it was on the original. And then more. So no reverb. So if you wanted to record that, you could do so using the automation. So what I would do is click on the W, just bring this back to the beginning, and I'll do that now. So when I stop, take off the W, click on the R for read automation. I'll show you also if I right click on the track, show used automation, you're going to see this here. So let's have a listen. So you could use this for all the other channels. For example, the main kick here, what I could do is drop in an insert if I come to filter, dual filter, this is a DJ style filter. And if I now come down to quick controls, click on here, we have the ability to check out the inserts. If I open the dual filter, I'm going to go for position, double click. Now, my first of my eight controllers is assigned to the filter position. So have a listen to this now. I'll take it to the right to thin it out. So now, low pass filter. So you can see the scope. Up to eight quick controls can be assigned per track, and these are linked in to the controls that you've defined on device setup quick controls.